In this video, we are going to find the solution of this network using mesh analysis. So in mesh analysis, the first step is to identify the number of meshes. For identifying the number of meshes, check the number of closed circuits. Here there is one closed circuit, then this one is a closed circuit and this one is a closed circuit. So totally there are three closed circuits. So there are three meshes. If three meshes are there, there, there will be three mesh equations. Now, in step two, you need to assume a current is going in clockwise direction. Okay, so this is mesh one. So my current is I1. Here this is mesh two. So this is my current I2. And here this is mesh three. So my current it is I3. Here I assume that the current is flowing in clockwise direction. But as you can see, this 10 volt, this is positive. Okay, the current will flow from positive to negative. That is opposite to my assumed direction. But for mesh, you need to assume in clockwise direction. In mesh analysis, you need to apply Kirchhoff voltage law. What is Kirchhoff voltage law? Algebraic sum of voltage in a closed loop will be equal to zero. That means here the voltage it is source voltage. So source voltage plus voltage across 10 ohm resistor plus voltage across 5 ohm resistor plus voltage across 3 ohm resistor. The voltage is algebraic sum of voltage will be equal to zero. Now we are going to write the mesh equation. Okay, so in mesh one, the current is flowing in clockwise direction. So the current is going to enter here. Here it is negative side. So write negative. The value it is 50. So the source voltage it is negative 50. Then plus. For resistor always you need to take plus. Okay, from plus to minus. For resistor always you need to take the plus sign. So here it is plus. Now what is the voltage across 10 ohm resistor? How to find voltage according to Ohm's law? Voltage it is V equal to I R according to Ohm's law. We know the value of R. R it is 10 ohm. I it is I1. So it will be 10 I1. So voltage across 10 ohm will be 10 I1 plus voltage across 5 ohm resistor. Here you need to listen. Okay. In voltage in 5 ohm resistor, I1 is the current coming and 5 ohm is common to both this mesh and this mesh. It is common to both the meshes. Okay. So here I1 current will enter and I2 current will enter. Both current will be there. Such a case, we need to take 5 ohm resistor is the resistance value that is 5. Then if we are writing the mesh equation with respect to mesh 1, then we will write I1 minus I2. If we are writing the mesh equation with respect to second mesh, then we will write I2 minus I1. Here we are writing the mesh equation for mesh 1. Okay, so we will write I1 minus I2 plus then voltage across 3 ohm resistor. 3 ohm resistor is common for both mesh 1 and mesh 3. So we will write 3 into, you need to write I1 minus I3 because we are writing with respect to mesh 1 equal to 0. If you are writing with respect to mesh 3, then we will write I3 minus I1. Here we are writing I1 minus I3 because we are writing the with respect to mesh 1. Now open the bracket. It will be minus 50 plus 10 I1 plus 5 I1 minus 5 I2 plus 3 I1 minus 3 I3 equal to 0. Now you can see I1, I1, I1. Take that I1 outside, okay? So I1 is common. I1 into 10 plus 5 plus 3. 10, 5 and 3. Then I2 minus 5 I2. Then minus 3 I3 equal to this minus 50 is a constant. I am going to take it in the other side. And it will become plus 50. Now 10 plus 5 it is 15. 15 plus 3 it is 18. So I will get 18 I1 minus 5 I2 minus 3 I3 equal to 50. This is my first equation, mesh 1's equation. So this is the equation of mesh 1. Now we are going to write the equation for mesh 2. This is our mesh 2. Okay. Okay. I2. I2 is the current flowing. Then 1 ohm resistor. 1 ohm resistor is common for both second mesh and third mesh. So we will write I2 minus I3. Because we are writing the equation with respect to mesh 2. So we will write I2 minus I3. Plus, after 1 ohm, the current will go to the 5 ohm resistor. So 5, then 5 ohm resistor is common to both this mesh and this mesh. So we will write 5 I2 minus I1. I2 minus I1. Plus, then it will enter to 2 ohm resistor. So 2, then the current going through that is I2. Then it will enter to the plus 10 volt. So plus 10 equal to 0. Now open the bracket. You will get I2 minus I3 plus 5 I2 
minus 5 i1 plus 2 i2 plus 10 equal to 0. Now you can see i2 is common. Okay, take i2 outside. So taking i2 outside, here it is 1, here it is 5, so 1 plus 5, here it is plus 2. Okay, then minus 5 i1, then minus i3, then there is a constant. Take the constant on the other side. Move to the other side, then we will get minus 10. So 5 plus 1 it is 6, 6 plus 2 it is 8. So 8 i2 minus 5 i1 minus i3 equal to minus 10. Here after writing the equation we got i2 first. But in you need to write in the order. That is i1, i2, i3. In that order you need to write. So here it is minus 5 i1. So minus 5 i1. Then plus 8 i2. Then minus i3 equal to minus 10. That is our second mesh equation. We got the equation by the starting element it is 8 i2. But we need to write in the order i1, i2, i3. Okay. Now take the third mesh. Mesh. 3 third mesh here the current is going like this then it is going to the 3 over resistor so 3 and 3 over resistor is common to both this mesh and this mesh so here it is i3 so 3 i3 minus i1 then it is going to the 1 ohm resistor 1 ohm resistor is common to both this mesh and this mesh so here it is i3 and here it is i2 so i3 minus i2 then the current will enter into the plus 5 volt so plus 5 equal to 0 now open the bracket we will get 3 i3 minus 3 i1 plus i3 minus i2 plus 5 equal to 0. Here we can see i3 is common. So we will take i3 outside. Then we will get 3 plus 1. 3 plus 1. Then i1. That is minus 3 i1. Then minus i2. Then plus 5 is a constant. We will move to the other side. And we will get minus 5. So 3 plus 1 it will be 4. So 4 i3 minus 3 i1 minus i2 equal to minus 5. This is the equation that we are getting but we need to write in the order i1, i2, i3. So i1 it is minus 3 i1. So minus 3 i1. Then i2 it is minus i2. <clears throat> then 4 i3 plus 4 i3 equal to minus 5. This is our third mesh equation. Now for the three meshes you got three equations. Now you need to find the value for i1, then i2 and i3. How to do that? You can use calculator or you can use linear algebra to solve that mathematics okay so here equation switch on the calculator mod button equation then there are three unknowns one two three there are three unknowns so i press three a1 the coefficient here i1 is 18 then here the coefficient here i2 it is minus 5 then here the coefficient here i3 it is minus 3 then the constant it is plus 50 then a2 here the coefficient here i1 it is minus 5 then i2 it is 8 then i3 it is minus 1 then the constant it is minus 10 then a3 here the coefficient here i1 it is minus 3 then i2 it is minus 1 then i3 it is 4 then the constant it is minus 5 now we will get x equal to x means our first i1 i1 it is 3.30 then y is 0 0.99 0 0.997 then z it is 1.4747 and you need to write the unit ampere okay when we will do mesh analysis if there are more number of voltage source we will do mesh analysis if there are more number of current source we will do node analysis so in the next video we can study what is node analysis